One of the best ways to represent data is with box plots. So let's look at the box plot command in R. First, let's consider a vector of numbers just so that we have something to make a box plot of. So here we've got this thing we've called vec1. It consists of the numbers from 1 to 10. If I'd like to make a box plot of those numbers, all I have to do is type box plot vec1, and there we go. Here I've got code that allows me to make some changes to this box plot. If I say main equals title, I can fill in any title I want here. And if I'd like to change the limits of this y-axis, the upper and lower limits, I say y lim equals and then give it a vector. Because I'm giving it a vector, I have to start with c for concatenate. And then I say 0 and 11. I want my upper and lower bounds to be 0 and 11. And if I run this code, you can see my box plot now has a new title, and it goes from 0 to 11. Suppose I want to make a box plot of several vectors, several variables, and I want to put them all within the same plot. I could make separate plotting windows and just paste those next to each other in my, in my report. However, it would be very nice if they all were on the same scale. So what I do is the following. Let me create two other vectors that I can use um, to plot alongside vec1. So now I have vec1, but also vec2 and vec3. If I just simply say box plot and then list the three vectors as the three arguments, that will work. And let's go find our plotting window, and here they are. So I've plotted vec1, vec2, and vec3 all next to each other on the same scale, which is really helpful because I don't have to worry about lining up three plots that were made separately. I can also change the labels if I want to put names on these plots. There's an argument called names. I could label them first, second, third. I can also give um, the box plot command a vector of colors if I'd like to specify a color for each of those. Um, that will work as well. There's another way to specify a set of box plots that you want to appear all together. Suppose that instead of having your data organized such that there are different vectors for each set of points that belong together in a box plot, you have one vector that Create, that contains all of the y values and another vector that contains indicators for which group uh, these values should be in. So for example, I can make this new variable called groups. You can do that and here you see um, groups looks like this. If I use cbind to put the groups variable together with vec1 because they're the same length, you can see uh, that some of these values um, are now labeled a and some of these values are now labeled b. If I say vec1 tilde groups, what that means is give me a block box plot of vec1 by the groups. And there you go. And the nice thing about this is not only are the um, box plots on the same scale already, but they also are automatically labeled by the, um, the labels that are inside that grouping vector. Which one of these strategies you want to use, of course, depends on how your data is organized. If your data comes with a separate column for each um, set of values you want to include together in a box plot, then you need to use the option where you list the different vectors. But if your data comes such that you have one vector containing all of the values and another vector containing an indicator for the groups, then you can do it this way. In my experience, one very common reason to be creating these kinds of box plots is to check the assumptions behind um, various tests, such as a t-test or an ANOVA. I find that I can check um, the normality and equal variance assumptions of the ANOVA or t-test to the extent necessary just by looking at the box plots. However, some people like to make quantile-quantile plots, so I just want to point out the command to do that in R. If you say QQ norm and then give uh, the name of a vector, um, R will plot the values in your vector against the theoretical quantiles of a normal distribution. Um, and if that is a straight line, or the, if it's more like a straight line, then your vector consists of values that are more normal.